Investing, a short film about a rather long-term thing. Rule 1. Money makes money. You have some money and you'd like to make more. You put it somewhere clever where it can earn interest. You leave it there until it grows enough to get interesting. We call the interest earned on your principal amount and also on the accumulated interest of previous periods compound interest. Einstein called it the greatest mathematical discovery of all time. But if you're smart, which you are, you'll call it what it is, free money. Rule 2. Time is money. The smart ones know it's about time in the market, not timing the market. They start early, because they know that time literally is money. More time in the market, much more free money. Learn to say no. Only you know what you can stand to lose and gain from the financial decisions you make. So know it. Know your appetite for risk. Know what your financial objectives are. How much volatility you can stomach. And then seek excellent advice from others in the know. Rule 4. Mind your business. Behind every stock is a real business run by real people. If you're smart, it will be a business you understand, run by people you believe in. So invest in a business, not a stock. It will help to reassure you when the market feels more bare than bull. Rule 5. Follow your instincts. Nothing good will ever come of just going with the crowd. While you might think there is safety in numbers, groupthink is what ends up costing you the most money. Never ever blindly follow investor sentiment. Follow your instincts or your super smart portfolio advisor instead. Rule 6. Embrace diversity. Diversification, as the name cunningly suggests, is the practice of spreading money around smartly to reduce risk. Different currencies, geographies, investment instruments and asset classes like cash, bonds and stocks. Smart people have diversified portfolios. So do wealthy people. Those are the rules. Now let's wrap up with a real-world example. Mike starts investing at 20. He contributes 1,000 Rand in year one into the JSC and increases contributions by inflation each year for 11 years. After 11 years, he stops contributing completely. Vigo starts investing 11 years after Mike at 31. He too contributes a thousand rand in year one into the JSC and increases his contribution by inflation each year for a whole 34 years. At age 65, Vigo has contributed 641,000 rand and his investment has grown to 12.8 million rand. Mike, he contributed a meager 14,600 rand over the same period. His sum total at age 65, 13.9 million rand. Yup, there you have it. Investment wisdom, packaged just for you. So start early, invest diligently, mix things up and be well advised. Like Mike, you'll be greatly rewarded.